Okay, here's uh, another one of uh, several magnetic egg experiments. This time, instead of using a, a cylindrical magnet, we're using a one inch by one inch cube N15 neodymium iron boron. As uh, you can see, as the egg shrinks, it leaves a shrinking egg pattern. At the very bottom, you can see it are the 42.5 degree angles, uh, each of which are half of the 85 degree angle, which in a perfect circle of 137.5077 times 2 your remains of uh, 85 degrees, which equals 1, so you got 5, 5, and 1. As you can see, this frozen jet, kind of like a uh, craft lifting off of the ground, that is the centripetal vortex entering into the uh, south side of the magnet. You cannot see it perfectly on this example because I need a larger container, but there is a perfect egg shape to this freeze. It's just distilled water that has been frozen, and it leaves a perfect embryo. Now, the interesting part, which is not interesting to me at all because I understand exactly what it is, is you see this wispy, ghost-like pattern around the edge. It goes all the way around the edge. It's very wispy and ethereal. That is the dielectric inertial plane. That is what our human body operates off of. That is what lightning is. Our body is not electrical. It is in a sense, but it is dielectricity. It is not electricity, but dielectricity. That is the electricity of nature, if you will, for lack of a really short description. This is beautiful geometric naturally created embryo shape from the uh, H2O molecule. The H2O molecule contains the perfect Pythagorean angle of 108.36.36 which creates this incommensurable egg shape embryo shape in the freezing. It doesn't matter what the size of the container is. I know this is tapered. You think well maybe it's because the container is tapered. No, that's not it. It forms it regardless of whether it's a round or square container etc etc. It uh, shrinks. However, the water near the magnet does not want to freeze. It greatly, even in a deep freezer set below, it does not want to freeze. So the water inside between the egg shape pattern and the magnet is not frozen. And this is the incommensurable geometry of the perfect egg shape. And it is the perfect egg shape. I wish you could see the top of it better. It's occluded by these dielectric wisps that is the energy of life. If they say water is the basis of life, of which all this is, dielectricity is the energy of life. Now I'm not trying to pull any new age garbage or nonsense on you, but uh, that is the ultimate fact. That is why these little wisps look so ethereal, so foreign, so alien. If you could see them really up, very uh, tightly up close, you'd be able to see that. I can spin it around here and you could see it some. Maybe you can see the egg shape pattern a little better. Remember the perfect egg as created by this magnetodielectric object, i.e. the square one inch magnet, remember this happens with a cylinder magnet regardless, has within it a spatial phi. If you divide along the inertial plane, the part below the inertial plane in the larger point of the pointed egg is a shape of phi, but its charge circular radius is 1. Now the part above the dielectric inertial plane, the fat wider part of the egg shape, is a spatial of 1, but its circular radius is much larger than phi. So its, uh, its charge radius is phi, but its spatial radius is 1. Inversely, in the bottom, its spatial volume is is a one is a phi. Excuse me. Its spatial volume is phi, but its charge radius is one. This is how water, quote unquote, sees. Get the deeper definition in the book, third volume of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. This is how water, the hydrogen, uh, the uh, the water molecule, sees magnetism. Although, as stated, this is a magnetodielectric object in perfect incommensurability. 
which logically, of course, should produce a perfect incommensurable object in the basis of all life, i.e. water. The perfect incommensurable object, the magnet, the magnetodielectric object, will, by its incommensurable nature, produce in the freezing an incommensurably perfect object. And the incommensurably perfect object of life, i.e. the water, is this embryo shape, the egg, the ovum. This is all simplex retroductive pure Pythagorean and Platonic logic. It is simple and simplex. It is divine, it is sublime, it is perfect. Of the few people that I've shown this to, they've wanted a large poster of this particular uh, of this particular formation. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful. Simultaneously at the same time you're seeing magnetism and dielectricity you're seeing the ethereal wisps of the dielectric, uh, the dielectric energy along the dielectric inertial plane. Simultaneously, you're seeing the shape of water, the basis of life, in the perfect egg shape, the ovum. This is layer upon layer upon layer of perfect incommensurability, the quote-unquote great secret of the Pythagoreans. This is perfection on five different levels. You see the two forces, actually you see three, principal ether force modalities of life, electricity, and the creation of the magnet, the dielectricity resultant from that, the magnetism resultant from that, the ovum it forms is the perfect model of life and of all generation, you see the centripetal vortex pattern left here as it freezes. Outside, it's harder to see in the video, but you have the perfect 42.5 degree uh, centrifugal angles where the bubbles are frozen. The centrifugal, the centrifugal uh, uh, divergent uh, magnetism as it leaves each side and returns and reciprocates to the other side centripetally. You have layer upon layer of divine simplex perfection. This is nature's perfect model times nature's perfect model times nature's perfect model. I cannot think of, nor have I ever seen, a more perfect divine representation of all the forces in life. Dielectricity, magnetism, the basis of life, the principle of life, the geometry of life, the shape of life, and the movement of life the golden section, the golden ratio, mirrored perfect incommensurability in both the magnet and in the living organism that is the basis for all life, i.e. water. If you understand this, then you'll understand more than most people on this earth. I hope you've gotten something from this video because I've repeated this experiment in different containers, different sizes now, a dozen times, and the results are always the same except for when I used too small of a container and the egg was not allowed to grow, quote-unquote, properly. But given enough room, and I even need a larger container than this, that the egg shape will form. It is gorgeous, perfect, sublime, divine. It is unspeakable what this says on so many levels. I'm glad to present this to you, and uh, remember to download uh, volume number three, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. Remember, you saw it here first. Nobody else has seen this until now, and uh, of the few people that I've shown it to, they've all demanded large posters of this, of this image. <laughs> I'm going to go print one out myself. Thanks for watching. I will unfold many more secrets of magnetism to you that you've never seen or heard about and that will intrigue and interest you. Thanks.